Annabelle is already flooding from the heavy rain that we've seen just over the past few days, and Milton is expected to bring the island 10 feet in storm surge. County leaders have advised people living on Sanibel to leave. The Night Beats' Asha Patel joins us live from the causeway. Asha, how do people feel about having to leave their homes? You know, Emma, they are feeling nervous. They're thinking to themselves, not this again. But Sanibel has a mandatory evacuation and is asking everyone to leave the island by tomorrow, Tuesday, 10 p.m. And the good news, I've been standing here or been around this area for majority of the day, and I've not been seeing that many people going on to the island. Rather, I've been seeing a lot more people coming off of the island, and we can see some cars coming off right now, which is good news. But, you know, the word evacuation does not make anyone feel good. Good. We need people to be off the island by 10 p.m. tomorrow on Tuesday. And many people did just that. Monday afternoon, bumper to bumper traffic of people getting off the island. I am evacuating. I am going to Miami, trying to get out of Florida, or not out of Florida, but out of the cone of the storm. Because when we had that tropical storm that happened a few weeks ago, the whole island just got flooded. People on Sanibel told me they are taking no chances. So when they issue a mandatory evacuation, what kind of feelings run through your mind? Oh my God, that's heavy. It's like, I'm gonna lose my house. I'm gonna lose my beautiful island. City leaders say expect flooding and expect up to 10 feet of storm surge. On Blind Pass Beach, we saw mounds of sand as an attempt to stop the surge. FDOT says they're making sure the causeway stays safe and operational after the storm passes, so they added additional armor stone near the toll booth. The guy upstairs takes care of us. Mike Ferrero says he's making sure he got everything his wife asked him to before he leaves the island Tuesday morning. It's well packed, well strapped, and uh, you know, my wife's clothing, that's the main thing. She said she, she's not in town, so she said bring that home. I said, don't worry, honey, I'll bring it home. Again, Sanibel has a mandatory evacuation. Everyone off the island by tomorrow, Tuesday, 10 p.m. And we have been seeing a lot of cars, like I said, coming off of the island. We just saw about seven cars in a row get off. But when I spoke to Eric Jackson, Sanibel's public information officer, he's encouraging people to leave as soon as they can, not wait until tomorrow late at night. That way there's not bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic and everyone can leave the island smooth and slowly. I'm reporting live on the Night Beat. Ash Patel, Wink News.